One of the best recipes in the world you probably never heard of is sugo finto, which is fake sauce. So you're using grated vegetables as the basis for the sauce. You cook that down slowly and you end up with what looks like and almost tastes like a real bolognese ragu. This is done in about half an hour instead of three hours. It's very simple to make. It's very inexpensive. It's cucina povera. It tastes great. It tastes not exactly like a real meat ragu, but it's pretty close. And the first step is to grate the vegetables. We'll start with an onion. What I tend to do is stop short of getting really, really thin. I'd rather throw out a little more onion than to get a hand surgery. Okay, so I, I'm stopping there. I'm not going any further. Hey Chris, have you ever injured yourself while cooking? Anybody who says they've never cut themselves while cooking is lying, or they've never cooked. Now we're grating a portobello, and we've already removed the inside gills. When it gets down to the end, to preserve my fingers, I'm just gonna chop it, because the mushrooms are cooked down anyway. To add about a quarter cup of olive oil and about a teaspoon of kosher salt. Bring this up until it starts to sizzle, Put the heat down to sort of medium low, cover it, and we'll cook it for a while till we get it really reduced, uh, which could be up to 20 minutes. So we're gonna put a tablespoon of kosher salt in, a full pound of pasta. And the next thing we do is add a quarter cup of wine, and we're gonna cook that off. Anytime you cook with wine, you wanna reduce it down to obviously make it thicker, but also to get a nice, soft, balanced flavor. When you cook down vegetables, you get a lot of flavor but you're not using meat. And it's a good lesson when how to cook with very little. On our radio show, Mill Street Radio, people call in all the time wondering how to substitute for meat. Uh, and my answer is please don't do that. Like if you got a meat stew, you know, using tofu or seitan or eggplant, it's just not gonna be the same thing. There are hundreds of thousands of recipes from around the world that don't use meat. Meat was very expensive. So they have figured out how to get big flavor out of vegetables like in this dish. Big flavor, just with grated vegetables. So don't substitute for meat. Use recipes that use vegetables to their best use with a lot of flavor. That's much better. This is a six ounce can of tomato paste. This will add a lot of flavor, also some color. Makes it look a little bit more like a ragu. Half teaspoon of pepper. And we're gonna cook that down and you want it to start to brown on the bottom of the pot a little bit to bring out the flavor. So tomato paste, mushrooms, these are things that give you a meaty foundation. We do this every time we cook pasta, we reserve some of the cooking water. So you don't need to over drain because you're gonna actually put back some of the pasta water. So I'd say about 10 or 15 seconds just draining and then put it back in the pot. So we're gonna put the heat on to medium. I'm gonna add a cup of water in here. Put the sauce in with the pasta. And now the pasta can absorb some of the sauce as it cooks for a couple of minutes. Also concentrates the sauce. And this is what in Italy you'd see. It doesn't look like it's drowning in sauce. And the sauce isn't just topping the pasta on upon serving. You're actually marrying the two together. And that's why when you make a pasta sauce, you want that pasta sauce to be fairly strong because it's gonna get diluted, don't forget, with pasta cooking water and mixed in with the pasta. Olive oil, when you cook with it, that fruitiness goes away. But when you serve it uncooked as a topping at the end, a little drizzle, and you're gonna get that fruitiness, which is what you want. Mm. It's really good and it has depth of flavor. It's easy to make, you know, ragu is gonna take three hours to cook all the meat down. You have to use three different kinds of meat. It's not hard to do, but it takes a long time. This is half an hour, this whole dish, start to finish. Mm. You know, I'd forgotten how good, good this is. 